Hello YouTube, hello world, uh, this is Clever Sausage and I'm bringing you some more uh, real juicy news. Um, from New Zealand here, you got these uh, cops, uh, New Zealand Police Force, right, responding to married children. It's been deemed absolutely appalling. They uh, want to have um, you know, arms on them. Well, they've got arms, look, there's arms there, right? No, seriously. They um, want to um, be uh, carrying weapons, probably with live ammunition, to um, deal with 12 year old children. Well, you know, but yeah, yeah basically it's for any sort of um, aggressive domestic violence or whatever incident, you know, whatever crime going down. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think Australia, Australian cops wear guns, yeah, but they get shot at, don't they? Quite a bit. Um, same as American cops. You know, and then they get a bit trigger happy and start shooting innocent people and stuff, um, as we well know. So um, yeah, they wanted to be carrying arms, weapons, live weapons, right, uh, to protect themselves. But somebody poo pooed it, um, opposed it. Okay, what's the read here? Police armed response teams (ARTs) have been criticised for attending callouts to deal with children as young as 12 while they were in action. Okay. Um, response to married children absolutely appalling. Uh, New Zealand's top cop scratch plans for specialist armed response teams following controversial trial. The controversial teams were officially scrapped this week, but data showed the armed units were called out to several incidents involving children during a six month trial. Armed officers de dealt with six incidents involving a total of eight 12 year olds, seven of whom were Maori. The other 12 year olds ethnicity was reported unknown come on man if if you're out there and you like you know come across 12 year olds you know, you can recognize brown skin 12 year olds but you can't recognize european white skin come on man you know stop the bull crap you know you just you know it's statistics isn't it yeah you know? so someone ends up going oh married children or marries are all like bad you know the criminals or that sort of stuff like they do to black people right? it's stereotyping isn't it okay um see it how you will you know it's perspective that sort of it's just my perspective you know what i'm seeing here okay not because i'm married or whatever right it's it's just what i can see you know my perspective okay so um yeah they go up against 12 year olds well with live guns you know and all that sort of stuff. What well, you're gonna shoot a 12 year old in the face because you've got a bit trigger happy, you know, to watch you too many um, cops, cops programs, you know, cops, bad boys, bad boys, you know, that one? um, yeah, oh, oh, sorry about that, you know, I didn't mean to, you know, um, almost all the incidents took place in Hamilton where Lady Tarati Moxon, never heard of it, runs to. Cool health, health, okay. Targeting young Mary, targeting our youth is just not on. It is absolutely appalling, she said. The worst of it is that someone thought it was okay, well, it is not okay. So, the way I see it, this is only my perspective, right? Okay. It's so all it is, is this perspective, okay? There's two sides to a corner. I don't have a corner on me at the moment. Okay. It's like this. There's two sides to this bottle. Okay. There's the front, there's the back, right? And then there's the edge, okay? get to that later um but yeah like a coin there's two sides to every coin right and an edge so this lady fair enough she's saying blah 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 right and um someone else is saying blah 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 that's one side of the coin you know so you need to flip it over and check out the other side right okay and what i mean by that is i got these because i live around teenagers they come to my house all the time and uh, you know, some of some are respectful, some are in control, uh, they behave well, but others are just like vermin, you know? Gangsters, want to be gangsters. I've seen a little Wayne video and they think they're a New York gangster, you know, doing all these signs and crap like that. Well, they're, they're trying to find some sort of identity, aren't they? They're trying to, like, like Rastafari and you know, when they come out, reggae, you know, Bob Marley, whatever. All these people are like, yeah, man, yeah, man, you know, and growing dreadlocks and stuff and smoking the weed because they're trying to. You know, proud people, whatever, trying to ident find an identity, and they found it in that way, right? And then, say, so, punk rock come out, um, probably before that, and they got all these European people, uh, kids, adults, whatever, you know, get, get in the 
skinheads and you know, um, becoming a skinhead and beating people up and boot boys and all that sort of stuff because they're looking for something to identify with, right? Okay, so um, this is what these kids are doing. They're watching the two-pack video or whatever and they're identifying with it. Oh, the black stuff and all that. I'm a gangster, you know. It's like instant noodle gangster, you know what I mean? Um, just add a video, right? As I said before. So, um, yeah, so they go out there and they try to be a gangster because they think that's it's been pumped in the head, you know? It's been pumped in the head through these videos. You know, I'm a gangster, I kill 10 people, and all this sort of crap, you know? And I've got this big hoe with a big booty and all the, all the rubbish from these videos, right? They're influenced by it. You know? uh, it's brainwashing them, right? And then you find out that these gangsters and these these videos aren't really gangsters, you know. Like, okay, here's an example. You got Sue Knight. Is that how you say it? Knight, that big guy that ended up having a heart attack in court for he got 25 years. Um, the one involved in the two-pack shooting, apparently. Yeah, well, he was interviewed by a British guy at the prison, right? Before he went back to prison. Um, and he sees um, to this guy while smoking a cigar. He's a gangster, and then there's the gangster. And he goes, well, what's the difference, you know? And he goes, well, got the gangster like himself that does all the crimes, you know, whatever you can imagine. He gets busted and he goes to jail for it. It's him being in jail at that time. And you've got the gangster, right, like Snoop Doggy Dog, you know, talks all this rubbish and um, he does the same or similar crimes, right, and he never gets busted. So he's, so Snoop Doggy is his, uh, yeah, formulated that, um, stating that um, you know, he's a gangster. He's, you know, he's just all mouth, right? He's just all talk. He doesn't actually do the crimes that end up in jail during the time, right? Okay. And the guy goes, oh, so that's the difference between a gangster and a gangster. He goes, yeah, yeah whatever. Right? Um, so yeah, yeah. So you got a couch gangster. You got the Netflix gangster. You know, all those ones that see it and they think oh, I'm a gangster oh, I'm a gangster you know? and they come up and they go yo bro that sort of stuff is like you're right dude um, yeah you know so you got these 12 year olds out there the parents can't control them you know the, these kids are smashing it from this is what I'm hearing from the teenagers that are coming through my house right ones that broke stuff or whatever had no respect yeah, and other ones um, didn't know how to behave just saying yeah yeah I'm hearing stories that they slap their parents around at 12, 13, 14. They're the one punching their parents or maybe a bit older, punching their parents, you know. Parents says, hey, we get smack, you know. They're beating their mother up and stuff like that. Like, they're out of hand. So I'm trying to teach these teenagers that are around here, right, that, you know, you come to my house, you want to smash this other guy because I didn't know he stole from you or from your mother or whoever. Right? Right, you want to smash this dude in my house. The guy put his hands up Right. She says, look, I don't want to fight you because you had enough sort of respect not to have, have a rumble in my daughter's room and smash everything up, you know, punch holes in the wall, all that sort of stuff, because you know, that's what happens, you know, when full on fighting. And this guy steps in, he's like, come outside, so and so and so and so. He's like, no, no, I don't want to go outside, I don't, don't want to fight you, that's his right, okay? So this guy starts hitting him. So I'm sitting there like, dude, the guy put his hands up and says he's not going to fight you, plus he's in my house. So, you know, wait, or take, take it down the road deal with it down there, off the property, because this is a safe haven, especially for the younger girls that are friends of the daughter, right? they float through here, right, I mean like, they might be playing PS4 in her room, alone, because sometimes they turn up, they took off from the house, or whatever, or, you know, whatever, and they just want somebody to, as a safe haven, for the night, whatever, or they're looking for the daughter, but she's gone somewhere else, right, go for the weekend, whatever, so, say, so, well, yeah, yeah, you're safe here, you'll be safe here, do, yeah, stay in the room, do your thing, right, right, I won't bother you, just, you know, don't do this and don't do that, don't pinch, don't break anything, or whatever, you know, behave, simple, right, so they, off they you, and they just play the PlayStation, yeah, whatever, you know, so if, if something goes missing, and the daughter comes back and goes mental, well then, that's the only person that was here, so you go, to that person, right, right, so they feel safe there, it's a safe haven, okay, so she might be in there playing it, some three homies, come over, you know, want a free feed and all that sort of crap, because um, they're just rocking it off the head with weed or whatever, or they're just ugly, right? right? And there might be three of them hanging out with her in there, because they close the door all the time, 
we got a policy here, don't close the door. Because even my parents were saying that, you know, like, if I had a girlfriend or girl here, even with the um, English, uh, foreign English, uh, foreign exchange students that came here, and like some girl came over and just like hitting on this, um, this Malaysian guy. Okay, he's never had a girlfriend or whatever at that time. Um, yeah, and she was like, well, basically trying to mount him in the room, right? And all this sort of stuff, and he's like too busy playing Need for Speed. He's like, oh, yeah, okay, well, whatever, 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 you know, just carry on. She, my mother, she opened the door, you know, because that kind of thing goes on. Um, but these guys like will shut it and smoke in it, be disrespectful. They would have told him, don't smoke in the room, don't eat in the room, because they leave the plates lying around, you know. And you'll find a plate under the bed where you have to like um, vacuum the whole house out and you know, whatever, shampoo it, whatever. Freaking plates of spaghetti going green. What did I tell you? Don't eat in the room to different people, right? They just don't want to listen, right? Um, anyway, so, so yeah, yeah, she might have. Uh, my, another three dudes might turn up that I know of, but I don't know what they're doing to her in there. They could suddenly, like, you know, because one's a bit touchy, there's a bit of a dirt, couple of dirty ones, you know, and they want to get their rocks off. So they might be touching you inappropriately, and she's saying, No, 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 don't do that. I'm not into that, leave me alone. But he goes, I know you want it, bish, bitch, whatever, you know. And then, you know, keep doing it. So she's telling him, and he keeps doing it, right? These other two dudes might think it's funny and try jumping on the action, you know, because he has mate with it's just a possibility, right? And then they attack her, and she's unbeknown to me, because she's so afraid she didn't scream out with it. She's trying to fight them, but there's too many of them, right? Because men are what, physically stronger, you know, with that sort of stuff. Um, and overpowering, right? They could abuse you, they're in real, I don't know, you know? And then she runs off, goes to her parents, parents say, What happened to you? Most times, they, you know, when a woman's abused like that, they, they won't tell, okay? They just rather shower and keep it to themselves, but it affects them psychologically. Okay, the people out there say I'm dumb, that I don't know shit, right? Okay, I've experienced, I've looked at, yeah, you know, experienced other people that have been through that stuff and seen what it's done to them over the period of life, right? From seven to an adult, right? You can, it comes out, you can see it, you know. If you got the eyes and the brain, you can see it. It's something psychologically affecting that person. Okay. Um, yeah, so they could be totally abusing you in there. And then the parents come down, knock, 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 and these kind of parents, being Pacific Islander here or whatever, you know, fresh off the boat, fob, what do you want to call them? You know, sometimes they don't know English. Knock, 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 open the door, boom! Lose three or four teeth. Hey, these guys attack my daughter, or whatever, you know. You watch here, you know. They don't ask questions. Like they just smack, because that's, that's their way, their mentality sometimes, right? Some will say, hey, you know, what happened, blah, 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 she was here and you're here, you're responsible, and then they try to step into your house to punch you out, right? As soon as they step to my house, step through my door, well, I've got the right to restrain them. I've got the right to beat the crap out of them, but say if you're a keto dude or whatever, you can uh, put them in a hold, suppress them, repress them until the cops come, right? But you obviously can't use, like, I know a guy that was trained quite well here in uh, ninjutsu. Yeah, he had to learn Aikido because cops use one ninja, so it's too effective, bone breaking and all that sort of stuff. It's too powerful, so you can't use it on an assailant because he's a security guard at a bar, outside a bar, right? And um, people come up and they want to spit in his face and all that sort of stuff. Women especially and try to be tough, you know, uh, try to get in there because he refuses and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, he can't. He had to learn Aikido. But um, yeah, these twelve-year-olds are just out of hand. So I'm telling these teenagers, you, you got to watch out for your next generation. Well, their generation's pretty screwed, right? Because they're st stealing cars, whatever, 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 you know, being gangster, right? And some of them are wanting to get their rocks off. So, so this other, this female gets pregnant, has this kid, they, this guy abandons them because he's got no responsibility, he's not mature enough, whatever, he's got no money, whatever, right? So she's left with this child. She'll probably pass it on to her grandmother, you know, or parents or whatever like that, right? Um, yeah, so that next generation because they're young they they haven't got the maturity and the experience to handle a young child right and uh, because they I guess if they love their child well, they'll spoil it rotten eh? you know and that child will probably realise how to manipulate them get around them right so um, yeah it'll end up ruling them and when they get older because it's a 
like it's no parent, no, no father there, right? Uh, yeah, they'll manipulate her and then they'll threaten her and all this sort of stuff. If she's, you know, they just give her problems. So your next generation and your next generation after that, that's going to be a problem because they're just going to get out here. Look, they go to um, Catholics. <laughs> no. uh, if you go to these certain areas in uh, New Zealand, I don't give a shit what anyone out there says. Oh, no, don't say that. It's bad for tourism. It's fact, right? It's fact. You go to certain areas, uh, like what they call Māngere, Aotearoa, or they sort of lower, yeah, people, uh, poorer communities, right? Okay. There's a lot of these Maori's Islanders, whatever, throwing up the gang signs, wearing all the gang crap, talking all the gang crap, gang crap, right? You know? And doing all these crimes. Because... Why, they've been influenced by some silly Tupac video or Little Wayne or you know well Tupac I guess was pretty much against it but they got these other little ones like that Little Wayne and all that sort of stuff um, Little Peeps whoever whatever you know I don't know I don't really know like, Little John and all that you know they're all they're tattooed up and all gangsta doing the drugs and stuff and these kids think oh that's cool man so I try to be like him you know I'm going to be a gangster you know and then they end up with these addictions uh psychosis, you know, whatever, you know, whatever, these problems. No. So, yeah, New Zealand parents out there, you got to step up, man, grow some big, big cojones, you know, and control those kids. Well, not control, yeah, well, you control them, you know, teach them, teach them how to behave properly, you know, like, um, advise them on, you know, where's it going to lead you? It's going to lead you to a 60-year-old man wearing his pants down going, what's up, bro? Well, that sort of crap, you know, like, living on the doll, he's got no, he's, he's got nothing to offer, a partner or anything like that, he's got nothing, you know, he's like, just this wannabe 60 year old gangster, you know, um, that sort of thing, yeah, so, you need to, take them and, nurture them and discipline them, right, you know, it's, it's probably hard for a woman that has no, uh, male partner, or she's abandoned her, or whatever, or she's cheated on her, or whatever, you know, but there are some good dudes out there, you know, genuine gentleman, whatever. You just got to, very rare, but you got to find him. Eh? You can find him, I think. Um, that's why you should, uh, when you meet somebody and you're attracted, you should sit down and communicate. Say, okay, what do you want? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, is that what you really want? Do you really want that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what I want. This is what I really want. And you communicate, you know, and I like, try to accomplish that. Rather than just go, well, you kind of jump that chick, jump that chick, you know, whatever you jump each other, well, that's up to you, that's your choice, right? But it's not going to go anywhere, is it? It's going to end up like, you know, it's not fruitful. It might not be fruit. It might be a cause of your breakup. Even my um, 14 year old daughter realises this. Realises this. Yeah, she's looking at everything. Okay, I'm advising you on some things, but she's picking it up for herself, you know, by looking, because I've always told her, look at what other people's. And the mistakes that I've made, the mistakes I've made, uh, my parents made, her, her mother's made, whatever, right? Okay. Look at those as examples. They're, they're there for you to um, analyze and realize, right? That they screwed up something, and that's why they're like the way they are. Okay. So yeah, don't be, and also teach these younger ones that come here, don't be a victim. You know, don't be a victim to anybody. If, if like, one girl was attacked at her school, right? But some chick that says, oh, you said this about my family, because you know, gossip just, just rampant through the damn school, right? I get them coming here saying, oh, she said, you said that, you said that, she said, you know, it's like, it's just a lot of crap. And then they want to step the daughter out, and it's like, oh, you're going the wrong, don't go there, right? You're going to get smacked there because she doesn't fight like girls, you know, and they pull the hair. When they pull the hair, this makes it worse, you know? So, yeah, she's learned how to box, fight like a man sort of thing from um, the brothers and the brother and stuff like that. Or different people like that, you know. So she gets attacked. These, these chicks are trying to pull her here. No, no, don't go that way, bro. She's like hard out, Mike Tyson on them. Yeah. What have I created? A monster? Um, no. Um, you know, because of what she's been through psychologically from her side of the family and neighbours and stuff like that. You know? The bad people. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's a bit. I'm a bit iffy about those cops wearing the guns, you know, walking down the street. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I killed a 12-year-old. He was just going, what's up? Yeah, I shot him to death. 
you know, that, it could get like that. Like, what happens, look, look what's happening in America. Cops, you know. Uh, there's one video of a cop pulls up somebody, I think it's a lady or maybe a guy in a car on a highway, and, and she's going for her license, I think, because I think that's what he requested, right? Where's your driver's license? So she's reaching for it, and he's like, don't reach for it, don't reach for it, don't reach for it, and he starts shooting it, you know? She's, she's basically, I, I think she, I hear her saying she's reaching for her license, she's reaching for her license, you know? And this cop's like, don't go for it, don't go for it, don't, don't reach for it, and bam, 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 you know? Yeah. Because they're freaking trigger happy. Well, probably, probably racist as well. It's racially motivated. But you, you're not the cop. You don't know. You know, he might have just been stressed. He could have been. You know, his wife might have just left him, or his boss was a dick. You know, all that sort of stuff. He had these different reasons. Anyway, so I've sort of put this video on an angle. So I was just playing around with this webcam thing, and it's like suddenly it just put me on an angle. So yeah, if you like um, this video, um, slap the geek down there, down, down the corner there, right, with the glasses, and the um, thumbs up, right, not this geek, okay, that geek, and um, add your comments, and um, yeah, tell me what you think, and I'll bring you some more real juicy news, okay, see you in the next video.